I never imagined that math would take me anywhere like it is today. I still find it very surprising and weird when suddenly I'm recognised by someone on the street and they ask for a photo or they know who I am. Yeah, that's fine. Oh right. my gosh, I'm gonna be there. Oh, cool. Okay. To the fact that there's so much enthusiasm for mathematics always catches me slightly off guard. So when I was a little kid, I definitely really enjoyed uh, sort of Lego and toys like that. I was always drawn towards that sort of sciencey thing of taking things apart and trying to see how they worked. I think I was always very focused that I would get exceptionally lost in things. I had a little bit of this obsessiveness that's very much present in me today, I think. It always felt like there's more to discover and every little bit of math that I learnt, rather than closing off a chapter, always seemed to feel like it was opening my mind to more things that were going on and more possibilities. Prime numbers, which is the main focus of my research, have always had a slightly special status for me. I've always found them uh, particularly fascinating. In the modern world, prime numbers are absolutely fundamental and have lots of outside applications, not just to cryptography and computer science, uh, but to lots of other subjects they turn up as well. It's the combination of prime numbers being absolutely fundamental objects in mathematics, but also being completely mysterious to mathematicians and having resisted the efforts of mathematicians studying them for thousands of years. And so it's that combination of feeling that these are really inherently important fundamental objects, but still we don't understand them. Uh, that's just mind-blowing for me, and I think that's what always compels me forwards. I think it would be really nice to have contributed an idea that really becomes very useful for mathematicians going forwards. And so if I could be useful for them, that would both make me feel happy because I'm helping kind of mathematics in a longer term sense rather than just my research, as well as give me the sort of personal satisfaction that my research hasn't sort of fallen by the wayside, uh, like an awful lot of research inevitably does.